Bud here again, National Auto Tools. Remember who we are. Let's talk about tire machines. Tire machines, NTC 950, NTC 950-1, NTC 950-2. Okay, the NTC 950, if you just want a basic standard machine, will be this blue part right here without this arm and without this arm. If you want an NTC 950-1, we will add this arm. If you want an NTC 950-2, we will add this arm. The arms come in real handy when you want to do low pros, run flats, high plies. They really, really come in handy. If you're just wanting to do just standard old passenger cars and trucks, you know, you can get away with the 950, but if you're gonna do sports, low pros, anything like that, you really ought to add at least that arm over there. It'll really help you out. A little bit about this machine. It comes as you see it, all plastic tooling. It comes with a plastic cover for the clamps. It comes with the plastic duck bill, that's included. Of course, it comes with the plastic bead breaker cover all the plastic tooling is included and the plastic inserts here in the steel duct bill. Another thing about this machine, most machines, not all of them, so don't, don't say I said all machines, most tire changers, these are the valves you'll have in them right here. Down at the pedals, you know, there's valves behind every pedal. This plastic valve is in most machines, not in the 950 or the 951 or the 952. They are aluminum anodized valves and aluminum anodized bead breaker cylinder. Now we have a state of the art water separator on this machine, but I don't care how hard you try, you can't keep water out of a tire machine. It's just impossible. So most companies use a steel bead breaker cylinder, which over time will rust up and you're gonna be buying a new one. Our aluminum won't do that. Our aluminum valves won't rust up. And unlike these plastic ones, which tend to break over time because you're running high pressure through them, the still the aluminum ones that we have in here won't break. Now, a little trick on your tire machine. In the back, there's a regulator. Go back there and set that thing to 95, 100 pounds. Plenty of pressure, plenty of pressure, do whatever you want. Keep the pressure in the machine down. Don't have that high pressure blowing through it. Your machine will last three, four, five years longer by just simply turning that thing down from 150 to 100. And you're gonna find 100. If you really wanna press it, go to 110, 115 pounds. You're gonna find that's plenty of pressure to do whatever you want with this machine. It, it just is, and it will really save the wear and tear on your machine. You can pick this machine up, deliver it to you, lock, stock, and barrel for anywhere from, oh, you know, 2100, depending, then you can start adding arms up to maybe, you know, uh, 4,000, maybe a little bit more. Why would you want to pay more? I, I, I'm lost. I don't understand why you would want to pay $15,000 for this machine. This machine is as good as any machine on the market. But if you don't believe me, just buy four of them. Still cheaper than buying that $15,000 machine. When one wears out, throw it away and use another one. It just makes no sense to spend all that money on a high dollar machine that does exactly what this does. Great machine, National Auto Tools. Give us a call, man. We'll fix you up.